Hello everyone. In this video, I will be giving you the details of divergence of a vector field. So here is the outlines. First, I will discuss about the divergence of a vector field, then divergence in the different coordinate system. Then I will take an example for detailed elaboration. And lastly, I will discuss about the divergence theorem. So let's start. As I have already given the hint about the divergence of a vector field in the last video. Basically, the divergence of a vector field A at any point P is the defined as total net outward flux per unit volume, which can be written as divergence of A, that means del dot A is equal to limit del V tends to zero A dot DS over the cross surface integral divided by del V, where A dot DS over the closed surface integral is defined as total net outward flux. We will discuss more about the flux in the electrostatics. So for clarification of the divergence, here I have taken three examples. So basically, in first case, a positive charge is placed within the closed surface. If positive charge will be there, so electric field line will be outward direction. So we will calculate the flux. The so total flux will be in the outward direction. If we calculate the divergence within the closed surface, we will find the positive divergence. Whereas in the second case, if negative charge will place within the closed surface, electric field line will be in the inward direction. In that case, flux will be negative. So in that case, we will calculate the divergence of field. So we will find the negative divergence. In some cases, the inward electric field line will be equal to the outward electric field line. In that case, if we calculate the total flux, that will provide the zero. So the divergence in that case will also be zero. For more clarification, what is A dot DS over the closed surface? I have taken one example. One cuboid is placed in the Cartesian coordinate system where DX, DY and DZ is the differential length along the X, Y and Z direction. For this cuboid, we will calculate the total outward flux through these closed surfaces. So for this cuboid, we will have the six faces. That means front, back, left, right, top and bottom. So for all six faces, we will calculate the A dot DS over the closed surface. After calculating this A dot DS for the different surface and sum all these component, we will find the total flux from the closed surface S. Divergence of a field vector for three different coordinate system are given here. In the Cartesian coordinate system, divergence of A is defined as del AX by del X plus del AY by del Y plus del AZ by del Z, where AX, AY and AZ is vector field along X, Y and Z direction. In the cylindrical coordinate system, divergence of A is defined as 1 by rho del Y del rho rho A rho plus 1 by rho del Y del phi A phi plus del Y del Z AZ where A rho, A phi and AZ is the component of vector field A along rho, phi and Z direction respectively. In the spherical coordinate system, divergence of vector field A is defined as 1 by R square del Y del R, R square A R plus 1 by R sin theta del Y del theta, A theta sin theta plus 1 by R sin theta del Y del phi, A phi where a r a theta and a phi is the component of vector field a along r theta and phi direction let us take an example to understand the divergence of a given vector p q w are the three different vectors given in cartesian cylindrical and spherical coordinate system so let us solve this question to find the divergence of the given vector fields in the first case the divergence of P can be calculated with the help of Cartesian coordinate system divergence formula. So in the Cartesian coordinate system, we know the divergence of P that will be equal to del y del x px plus del y del y py plus del y del z pz. px, py and pz is the component of P along x, y and z direction. After putting the value of px, py and pz in this equation and differentiate with respect to x, y and z, 
we will find del dot p is equal to y z plus x. In the second case, vector field q is written in the cylindrical coordinate system. So we will apply the divergence in the cylindrical coordinate system. So del dot q is equal to 1 by rho del y del rho rho q rho plus 1 by rho del y del phi q phi plus del y del z q z. Whereas q rho q phi and q z is the component of vector field q along the row phi and z direction and we can find this value from the given question. So after putting the value of q rho q phi and q z and differentiate with respect to rho phi and z we will get del dot q is equal to sin phi divided by rho plus cos phi and in the third case w vector is given in the spherical coordinate system and we know in the spherical coordinate system the divergence of a vector field w can be written as del dot w is equal to 1 by r square del y del r r square wr plus 1 by r sin theta del y del theta w theta sin theta plus 1 by r sin theta del y del phi w phi. After putting the value of wr w theta w phi component from the given w vector and differentiate with respect to r theta and phi then we will get divergence of w is equal to 2 cos theta cos phi and lastly the divergence theorem it states that total outward flux of a vector field e at a closed surface s is the same as volume integral of the divergence of e here you can see the left side is defined as close integral over the surface s e dot ds is equal to volume integral del dot e dv the left side quantity is the total outward flux which is equal to the volume integral of divergence of the given vector quantity basically the divergence theorem is used to convert the surface integral into the volume integral del dot e is defined as divergence of vector field e thank you for watching this video Thank you.